So on today's training, we're going to be talking about blogging with WordPress, going over WordPress from beginning to end, A to Z, however you want to say that. Um, but we are going to be showing the step-by-step -step process for blogging with WordPress. Um, WordPress is the blogging platform we're choosing. It's by far the most popular. It's free. It's simple. And it's something that if you don't quite understand how to set it up, you definitely need to understand how to set it up because it is amazingly simple and very, very powerful. So uh, without further ado, we're going to jump in here. So in this training, we're going to talk about the 30-second WordPress install method. We'll also be covering all the free plugins you need to increase the chances of profiting with your WordPress blog. We'll also cover how to find hundreds of high quality themes for free, how to make your very first post on your WordPress blog, how to add links to your post, how to increase your response by adding videos to your blog. We'll also be covering how to add AdSense and other list building um, ways to, to increase your list building um, to your blog as well. So we're going to be covering all that on today's training, uh, plus a few more little tidbits related to WordPress. So I'm just going to show you guys, show you here first a few uh, places that you can go. I'm going to show you some screenshots, then show you a few more slides going over WordPress, and then I'm actually going to jump in on the screen and actually do this live before your eyes. But first, I just kind of wanted to show show you some slides. You know, so you can kind of get an understanding, wrap your mind around what's going to happen here. So the first thing we're looking at here is the C panel or control panel, um, which many of you might be familiar with that. This is what you get with your HostGator hosting, Bluehost hosting, IX Web hosting, any major hosting company that offers a C panel, which is what we highly recommend as we discussed in the previous training. C panel is so important and um, because it gives you so many you know capabilities and functions. So later on in the tech in the tech training and tech course we'll be covering more on C panel. Uh, but WordPress here, um, you know, a lot happens actually from the back end here of C panel. There's actually this great tool called Fantastico Deluxe with that blue smiley face. You'll see it back there. Um, if you are in blue Bluehost, it's going to be called Simple Scripts. Uh, but Fantastico is what most of them have. And Fantastico basically allows you to do a one-click install of WordPress. And so you're going to see, this is what you're going to see when I do this live. Uh, but basically, just wanted to get you familiar with what it's going to look like. You're simply clicking, clicking again, as I'll show you live on the screen. And you're basically inputting your information um, onto, you know, just a, filling out a very small form. And literally within 30 seconds, Fantastico will install WordPress for you from start to finish. Now, you know, before you get concerned and say we are going through these slides way too quick, I'm actually going to be showing you demonstrating live, you know, in a very slow fashion coming up here. But just wanted to get you familiar with what's going on here. Um, so the first thing here that, that the arrow is pointing at here, you've got your blog directory. Um, if you were to install this on the domain, let's just say I am tech training course, you know, um, or maybe if it's if it's related to dog training, you have a, a site related to dog training or anything of that nature, it would be your main domain name would be here, or you could use a drop down menu if you have multiple domains on the account and pick which domain you want to install WordPress on. Um, you can actually install it into a directory. Um, a specific directory so that would be like your domain.com forward slash blog and if that was the case where it says install in directory you would just write in blog or you would write in news if, if you you know let's say you wanted to make it a news port portal related to your niche market uh, but in most cases if you just want to make it your main domain you can just choose to install on the domain leave the directory field blank and we'll go over that when we step through that process in just a few moments where it says admin access data, this is very self-explanatory. This is the username and password you would use to log into your WordPress. Very simple, very straightforward. The admin nickname, this is what would show up next to your post. So it would say post provided by admin. That's what most people do, and we'll cover that as well. Um, email is your email. Site name is basically... Um, you know, I like to have that be the main keyword phrases. Some people have it be something else, but in most cases, having that be your core keyword phrases that you're trying to focus on will actually give you a much better chance of ranking within the search engines. And that's a good spot to use the site name, or you could use it as your own business name um, or whatever purpose you have there. So after that, you're just simply going to click on that link where it says click. 
After that, it actually installs it all for you in literally just a matter of seconds. And I'm going to actually show you again this live, me doing this step by step, but just wanted to get you very familiar with it. Um, when it's all done, you can actually go and visit the website and take a look and see you know, how it looks for you. So another thing that is very important when it comes to WordPress is actually choosing your WordPress theme. And so that's what we're also going to be talking about. Um, one of the great benefits of using WordPress is the fact that there are thousands of quality themes out there. So you've got free themes, premium themes, and custom themes. A free WordPress theme is basically, you know, it's, it's not as, as exciting maybe. It's, it's very generic. Um, you know, but but a premium thing theme is basically one that that's really jazzed up. It's got nice pictures. It looks very um, you know very clean, very very professional. Has a very you know just just a much different look. You know, it's kind of like a you know a Honda Accord versus a, um, you know a fancy car like a Lamborghini or something. You know, that's what a free theme is to a premium. You know, it gets the job done. The free theme and it and it looks okay. Um, but a premium theme really looks amazing. You can get paid premium themes and also you can get free premium themes. And so I'll talk about that in just a few slides here on how you can get some free premium themes. There's also custom themes. That would be like if you had an idea for a WordPress theme and you outsourced for somebody to create that for you. But mainly when you're starting out here, if you're brand new, you're going to worry about free themes, you know, mainly free themes. And then as your business grows, you can invest in some premium, more expensive themes. But in most cases, starting off with free themes is absolutely a great way to go and it's not going to hurt you at all. So where can you find WordPress themes? In fact, one really cool source that not a lot of people, I mean, most people know about it by now, um, but now WordPress actually enables you to actually search for themes within the back end of your WordPress website, which I'll actually show you that in just a moment. Where it says where to find WordPress, basically on the back end where it says install themes, um, you would just choose you know themes on the left hand side you'll notice where that arrow is and then right in there it'll actually allow you to search by columns where you want your sidebars what colors you want in your themes and all that and it will pull up a variety of different themes so actually from the back end the administration section of your blog you can actually search and find your own WordPress theme so very very powerful and there's literally thousands of free themes just right in there that you can use for whatever purpose you have in mind Here's a few other websites that you can actually go to. One of them is actually WordPress.org and you can actually just do a Google search for WordPress themes and you'll come across this. But it's WordPress.org um, forward slash extend forward slash themes. And I know it's kind of a long URL, but there it is. Basically, this is what you see on the you know on this section the wordpress.org free themes directory is basically what you're actually getting access to with from the back end of your wordpress site but i just wanted to show people that this is available in case you can't find the right theme the other way another place that you can get themes from is is called wordpressthemesbase.com wordpressthemesbase.com now this basically is just another website that actually stores and allows you to download a variety of additional free WordPress themes that are very professional looking and look very clean and nice and that's wordpressthemesbase.com and at the very bottom here I've got a, a picture of a Google search window and it shows free premium WordPress themes and that's actually going to be the search string you would type in if you wanted to find these really high-end WordPress themes that are actually free and you might find some paid ones up in that mix as well but actually most of the time when I type in free premium WordPress theme you get actually access to a lot of very fancy ones um, the WordPress directory for example they don't have as many of the premium so to speak themes they have some nice looking themes and they do have some really what you'd call premium themes but it might take a while to find them but some of these websites out there kinda like WordPress themes base and many of the others if you do a Google search have actually archived them for you to make your life much much simpler so uh, just wanted to draw that to your attention so you know use Google to your advantage to find very good clean looking WordPress themes now you know just don't spend all your time looking for the perfect theme because getting by with just the basic theme that's out of the box is enough to get you going and get you to where you can start getting traffic that's really the most important thing with any blog is to get traffic to get people interested in what you're writing about and to eventually make sales whether it's as an affiliate whether it's to get people on your list whether it's to brand your business brand yourself 
the main focus here is to get eyeballs and attention on your offer. So um, the main thing is is to get your website set up as quickly and smoothly as possible, but there are plenty of free themes to help you get there. So there's several things to consider. Um, will you be able to grow with the same theme? You know, you might want to consider that. Um, and again, you don't really need to start off with a very um, elaborate theme to get going. You can start off with a very basic generic theme as well. Will the theme fit your monetization plans? That means, is the theme you're going with, will it actually enable you to build a list from it? So for example, if you're trying to choose a theme that would allow you to build a list, or maybe have Google AdSense in a nice location, you would want to consider a WordPress theme that might have a right sidebar, for example. Okay, so that's something that you would definitely keep in mind. Something with like a right sidebar. Will you be making money from the blog? Obviously, your main goal is to make money um, if you're going to spend lots of time blogging, so more than likely your answer would be yes. So you need to determine does your blog theme give off a professional clean image. It doesn't have to look perfect. If you look at some of the most basic sites, Google, Amazon, I mean, you know, they're they're big but they're not extremely flashy, but they get the job done, you know. So you don't need flash and and you know, whiz bang beautiful sites. You can have clean looking professional sites that get the job done for making money. Uh, will the blog's look affect your success? You know, is there too much going on? Is there is it too bland for what you're trying to do? Like if you're you know, an, an artist, you probably wouldn't want to have a bland WordPress type website. You know, if you are into dog training or, or dogs, for example, you wouldn't want to have a theme that maybe had pictures of cats on it, for example. So your theme needs to represent what you're trying to do. And as we'll cover here, there's plenty of ways to get the right themes. One thing to look at when you are, are choosing a theme is also look for hidden links. You know, so make sure that your theme has you know that there are no hidden links like in the footer or different areas like that you know that may end up getting people to go away from your website or maybe passing links to other sites that you may not support and things like that so um, a good spot to look for that is in like the footer and areas like that which I'll point out to you in just a moment um, is your theme widget ready it doesn't have to be widget ready but as I'll show you it's gonna make your life much easier if you know if it is widget ready because you can do you know list building much easier you can add AdSense much easier um, you can add analytics and all sorts of things much simpler and then again the the design single two or three column design you know there's different purposes for each the most uh, commonly used blog theme is typically a two column WordPress type theme so keep that in mind and then the color scheme it should be easy on the eyes and that's very very important when you're choosing a WordPress theme and again I'm gonna go through all these steps as we select it when we actually go into the live part of the training so this is just a picture to to show you because we're also gonna be talking about installing WordPress plugins now plugins basically um, take your WordPress theme and they actually you know make it better they make it stronger they make it more powerful for you and you know there's several types of plugins out there and you know some of the basic ones are, are listed right here one is called all-in-one SEO it basically helps you with search engine rankings another such plugin is Google sitemap generator it basically helps you create a nice Google friendly sitemap to ensure that all your blog posts are indexed, make sure all your content gets indexed, which is very important because you want it to be found in the search engines. That's what indexing means. Another big plugin is Sociable. Uh, blogs are social by nature, so that gives people the ability to share, you know, um, post on your site, maybe on Twitter. They can they can share posts that you've done on social bookmarking sites, and that can kind of help your website and your blog and your content go viral. So Sociable is a great free plugin to add as well. Another great one to consider is called Woopra, and it basically is another free plugin that tracks and analyzes web stats for you. So again, one other plugin that's free gives you some great insight. It's not going to cost you anything. And this is these are just four. There's literally thousands of plugins out. There, I could have selected many additional plugins on top of these, but really we just want to get through to the basics here, you know, just to get things up and running smoothly. So WordPress for SEO, as I'll be showing you more of as we set this up, you know, Word, you're probably thinking, well, this is technical training on WordPress, but SEO is also a very big part of it. So while we're back there doing the tech stuff, you may as well make sure your blog is optimized correctly from the get-go. And these plugins actually assist you in doing this for you. You know, the, the four plugins that I mentioned, All-in-One SEO, Sitemap Generator, Sociable, and Woopra. We're going to go over how to set up your permalinks, which will actually help 
every single post you do, you just have to set it up one time and from the time your site is set up, it's going to be set up and search engine friendly for you almost from the get go. So it'll be much simpler for you to maintain and you'll know as you move forward that your site is very search engine friendly. You also will show you how to set up your ping list um, to make sure your content gets picked up even quicker like within minutes after you post it and then how to set up your all-in-one SEO plugin correctly so that it further enhances your search engine rankings over time. Now when we're back there setting up the permalink structure, um, you'll see this in the left hand side of your administration section. That's where you're going to do a lot in WordPress and that's where we'll be a lot of the time. There's going to be a section called settings and on the left hand side you'll see something called permalinks. And basically what a permalink is, is basically it's going to allow your link to include the title of the post within the link. And most of the time since your titles will have keywords in them, that helps with search engine rankings because search engines like to see the keywords within the URLs or the links you know, to your various blog posts. So if you were to do a blog post on dog training resources, it would come out looking something like dog-training-resources, dog which in the search engine's eyes enhances the relevancy of that post for that phrase. And so therefore that would rank up in the search engines. Or it could say maybe um, Walla Walla Washington chiropractors, for example, if you're setting up a WordPress site maybe to target a local market, for instance. And really what I wanted to point out here is when we're there in the permalinks, we're actually going to be working with something that looks kind of like that goofy percentage sign post name. And I'll show you when the time's right where that goes exactly. But this kind of gives you a rough idea of where that's going to go. It's going to go under settings, permalinks, then you'll choose custom structure, and then put your post name in there. Once you do that, your site will be optimized from the get-go. And again, we'll be showing you that live as we go forward. Another thing you'll do is setting up a ping list in WordPress. Uh, most of the time this is already set up for you so you don't really have to worry too much about it. Um, but if it's not, just kind of wanted to draw it to your attention. And a ping list for those wondering is basically every time you make a new post or you make new changes to your blog, it's going to automatically do what's called a ping to uh, a site such as Pingo, which will actually go out there to about 20 or 30 other sites for you automatically and update them with the new listings and it'll go out to blog search engines, maybe other search engines. It basically helps your content get indexed like near